What's up, everybody? This is O Artistry, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Very exciting because we have the brand new world, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels. So an update's going to be required. So 85, 85. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see you when we come back. <laughs> and we are back. Because now it's like, I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for 85 with me, that's insane! Fortunately it wasn't too long, but let's have a look at Gander. So 7 World Release Celebration Campaign. So there's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to go through, um, so it's going to be pretty cool. So first of all, we get a pretty cool awesome ticket, uh, and as you can see we're going to get, uh, you know, all these other ones as well, which is really exciting throughout, you know, the more days that you play, so that's really cool. Um, now let's see what else is there. So we've got, you know, mini boxes added, we've got structure decks, uh, we have, um, it's interesting these notifications, if you see one says rush and the other says speed, so promotionals are gonna say what's what, so it looks like we get a total of 20 free packs, so that's pretty awesome, so it looks like we're getting a lot of free stuff basically, so I'm not gonna complain about freebies. Um, but as you can see, yes, the new world has been added. Now, oh, my inbox says 12, that's insane, good grief. All new mini box number one is here. Okay, so we have the Seven's New Road box. So load your new road to, to victory. I see things like Dark Magician Girls, we've got Seven's Road Magician, Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius, uh, Yami Ruler the Dark Delayer, uh, Prima Gatana the Shining Superstar, which are all protagonist, main protagonist cards. So it's cool that we get multiple copies in a set, so that's really cool. Uh, we're also probably gonna get, yeah, all new selection box, so this is gonna be, you know, for probably, um, yeah, so this will be, uh, speed duels, so we get some pretty cool speed duel stuff, Towers of the Overroot, uh, Underclock Taker, uh, we have, uh, Segale, the Luminous Luna Dragon, Negrisu, the World Chalice Warrior, so there's gonna be some, you know, at least stuff for everybody, so if, if there's something that you really want, at least it's gonna be there, and another up, here we go, all new Lightspeed Volcondo, so this is the new box for Rush Dueling, so we'll have a look at that, so nothing can slow you down. Um, so we get in Volcondo, which is like this powerful new monster, Torna, the Wind Weaver, I've heard he's quite a good card, Darkness Crested Hawk, uh, Luminous Parrot, um, and yeah, so that's going to be all Rush Duel cards, and it said on the box as well, Rush Duel. So it's cool that how they're kind of showing all the separations. So enjoy Duel Links with Speed Duel and Rush Duel. How to play. Rush Duel has been released, and we've also got that. So that's pretty cool. We've got Gift Festival as well. So we can view now the Duel Column and learn the basics of Rush Duel Links, so we could look into those. So it's cool that they're showing everything to new players. Hey! This is something you can look at. So let's have a look at everything that they've kind of given us so far. So we get like a thousand gems, characters, we got some skills, more gems. So, you know, fortunately, I, I've got 9,600 gems. So we've got more than enough to basically get in all this. We also got a play map, which shows, uh, and card sleeves, which is kind of what they typically do with every world, is they'll show a tab alongside a character. So we've got our main protagonist. So that's pretty awesome. We've got notifications, so we'll have a look at those. We do have this pack campaign, so we got a dream pack. Um, oh, it's cool, so it's all Karibos this time. Um, you know, different kinds, so this is pretty cool. And we got Karibot as my prismatic, so that's pretty awesome. I don't know if everybody gets Karibot straight off the bat. But that's a pretty sweet uh, prismatic for my first Rush Duel card, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we also get a skill, so Magician Shuffle is the skill that you just get straight away. Uh, this is an additional 50 gems, uh, we also have a skill and a ticket, I'll look at those later. Um, so let's get into Rush Tools. Um, tour Guide, hello! Um, Archive Skills, born from the collective minds of duelists in, in Link, 
they are actually going to make this simple and easy for you. Archive skills are skills that every legendary duelist can use. That's pretty cool. But what are skills that can only be used by certain uh, legendary duelists called? We'll call them legend skills from now on, so be sure to remember. If you want to know more, check them out in the help section. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have two different types of skills. So legendary skills and archive skills. So that's pretty cool. So maybe that's what they'll do for some characters. So let's go to how to unlock um, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. So you got to reach stage 10 or above. So if you're a brand new player, you got to reach stage 10 uh, straight away. However, I already am stage 10. So in theory, I should already have it. Um, but it's not showing, uh, you know, me to do it. So I'm not too sure. How to unlock? What, what do we get? Reach 10 to, uh, to make... Oh, right. Hold on. Maybe it's because I'm in... Maybe it's because I'm in the Vrain's world. Let me just move over to, uh, you know, uh, Dual Monsters. So, as you can see, I'm stage 51. So, maybe there's something around here. Is it missions? Ah, missions. Complete the duelist. Summon three monsters in one duel. So, that's basically how you have to do it. So, uh, we're not going to use you. you. Sorry, dude. Need. Let's see, let's play Magician's Rod, which allows us to actively search a spell card, so I'm going to use Dark Magic Curtains, pay half a life points to summon Dark Magician, and then we also have Secrets of Dark Magic set, as well as Saku, because our opponent's probably going to play a monster stronger than ours. Swap Frog. There enough. Oh, and then Tributing. Yep, so they got Dez Frog. And as you can see, it's 1900. And they're summoning multiple copies. So they're trying to get in. And they're fusion summoning them all so they can summon DEF Frog. So they're going to attack. So it says here uh, this card gains 500 for each Treeborn in your graveyard. So unfortunately, there's no other Treeborns. Um, we were in dangerous territory because they uh, essentially. Um, so what I'm going to do is play Dark Magic Curtain. So that allows us to summon Dark Magician, which is the new card that they gave us. Um, it's interesting that they gave us the prismatic of the other Dark Magician. So, um, you know, the art, the, the art that I, I have literally in my deck. So that's an interesting one. I think they could have done like like the Kazuki Takahashi design. So I could eliminate my opponent right here and there, but I can't summon any other monsters. But I can set. I don't know if setting technically counts as a summon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my turn. Uh, now that they're about to end their turn, I'm going to activate Secrets of Dark Magic. So this allows us to summon the Dark Magician using our two monsters. Uh, I'm actually going to use Magician's Robe. I'm counting on you. So now we have a fusion monster, and then what we can do is set a card, play Monster Reborn to bring back our Dark Magician. Since a spell card was activated, uh, we'll get a plus one draw. Uh, but as you can see, we're summoning multiple monsters, so this is perfect for us. Uh, set a spell trap, I won't do, but I'll play Summoner's Art just so we can search another Dark Magician. And this is the artwork that they gave us, so we get a second copy of this one, which is interesting. Uh, let's attack. This was just Sprell, uh, Screech even. So it sends a bunch of cards to the graveyard, but uh, basically it's game over. We summoned our three monsters, so... Technically four, so very nice. I would. Well done, a ten. My dark magician deck is pretty awesome. Um, quite a versatile little bad boy. So cool. We're gonna get some additional gems later down the line. But there we go. So we have now officially unlocked rush tools. So let's have a look at this. Okay. So dual dimension system installed. Rush Duel. Oh, it's that Seven Stars Magician. Looks like he clashed with a card. Wiped someone's life points out. Installed. So that's really cool. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. I like how they did that. That was really fun. So enter the world Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Oh, so it wants me to do it this way. <laughs> Though we changed the series this way. The name's Yuga Odo. Get oh. ready for the rush! 
Uh, I didn't click anything off. I was gonna have a look at. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just going straight to a tutorial. <laughs> what? We're just out and about. We're just straight in here. Rush dueling against Luke is always a blast. Yuga, I gotta defeat you if I wanna be the king of duels. Oh, uh, it's here king of games. Go. Get um, ready for the rush. Here goes. Okay, so we're gonna learn, oh, pretty much learn how to rush duel straight away. So he's summoned I'm Dragorai. Here I go. That's a high monster, but I'm guessing they're gonna give us a load of cards. So in this format, they give us five, you know, five per draw, which is really cool. It looks like they want us to summon Karibot first, uh, which I can tribute. Uh, I can tribute two monsters. Oh, no, it wants me to summon all three. Strange cat. And now I can tribute summon. So I may as well tribute this and Karibot. They are the lower monsters. Not even a planet can block my way. Nothing will stop my road to victory. Seven's Road Magician. I don't necessarily mind his voice. Um, it's quite high pitched, and I I I've heard the sub, and I prefer the sub voice acting to the dub. Um, the female character sounds quite good. Um, I don't necessarily mind Luke's, but. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> that was the end of the tutorial. It's just summon a bunch of cards. All right. Uh, Legendary Duelist unlocked, linking with Yuga Odo. Okay, so that's cool. So we're now swapping worlds. Uh, I was going to look at all these level up rewards, which we will do. We will cover that. How's that, Luke? Every time I rush duel, I'm one step further to my road to freedom. Huh? Luke? Hello? Luke? That's weird. He was just here a second ago. Where did he go? Wait a sec. This isn't Goha City. Huh. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Huh? Um, what? Did you say Duel Links? Yes. This whole world is digital. That's amazing. How did they build it? It looks like the real thing. Ha! They're like, I might quickly just like, back away. <laughs> And not just that, they've already installed Rush Duels! This is blowing my mind! I know I'm gonna love it here! Haha! I'm gonna spread Rush Duels throughout the world so that everyone has a great time! That's the reason why I created Rush Duels in the first place! To just have fun! Here I go! A wall! A mountain! Not even a planet can block my way! Nothing will stop my road to victory! Seven's Road Magician! Oh, they're showing us the animation again. We literally just saw it, Duel Links! What are you doing? Why are we seeing this again? It's cool, don't get me wrong, but... Come on, brother, what are you doing? But this is pretty cool. So we've pretty much got everybody. Let's go Seven Roads Magician. My rush duel is loading the road to freedom. I'm so amped up. I hope everyone gets here soon. I can't wait to rush duel them. And there we go, Yuga Odo unlocked. So now we can use his deck. So we'll have a look at his deck and what cards he's currently running. Um, and it looks like we get a bunch of other characters with different stages, as we usually do. But it's cool that we're getting all of the characters. Um, so let's have a gander first at what our main character is using. Um, so this is the Yuga deck. So the cards that we get guaranteed from the off is we use cards like Sparks. As you can see, all the cards are different. Um, and it looks like we run 30 on the off. Um, so we run two Sparks, three Blue Medicine, we have two Magical Beast Wolfang, three Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie, three Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, three Crawling Dragon, three Silver Fang, two Mammoth Graveyard, uh, three Water Magicians, three Dorados, two Celtic Guardians, and as a boss monster, we're running Max Raider with the skill Rush On um, Seven's Road. And what's interesting is Rush On Seven's Road is a skill specific to Yuga. Um, however, the other skill, Magician Shuffle, is the Dark Magician skill, which means that anybody can use Magician Shuffle. So that's pretty awesome that from the off, pretty much any character can use Magician Shuffle. Um, I'm guessing provided that it's a Rush Duel skill. I'm guessing Yugi, for example, can't use it. But we also then got Kariba and Dark Magician as unlocks as well. So let's have a look at I what... created Rush Duel so we can both have a great time! 
So, our main character, Yugo Odo. In a city where every citizen has to follow the rules, this fifth grader at Gota 7 Elementary School wants duelists to be free to duel whenever they want, however they want. His dream may finally come true when a mysterious hologram allows Yuga to upload his newest invention, Rush Duels. As Rush Duels spread far and wide, Yuga sees his message, or shares his message, uh, that it doesn't matter how if you win or lose, as long as you have a great time. Yuga loves to eat noodles, but he hates bell peppers and ladybugs. Alright. Uh, during a duel, when there are more attribu uh, attributes in his graveyard, his ace, seventh road magician, grows in strength. With every new invention he creates, Yuga is one step further to his road to freedom. So at level 3, we get a pretty awesome boss card, which is Ansel the Magical Swordsman, as a level 6 with 2,000 uh, attack and defense, uh, and 500 defense points. We then also get a skill Legend Draw, which pretty much is a, um, a regular skill, not a uh, Legend skill. So anyone can run this kind of one, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have Road Magic Explosion, so if you have a face-up level 7 or higher spellcaster on the field, you can send a fire attribute from your hand to the graveyard to inflict burn damage equal to the number of cards on their field times 400. Um, that's not a terrible card. Uh, Excel Wonder Splat, that's an interesting name. You can also zoom in and out so it's just the artwork, kind of like regular uh, speed duel cards. So you, if you send the top card from your deck to the graveyard, this turn one face of Spellcaster gains 200 attack and its level is increased by 2. It's a 1600 attack point monster, that's level 6. Uh, then we have a exclusive skill at, uh, with Lightning Shift which is for Volcandor, which is part of the structure deck, so that's actually quite interesting that you get a level 12. You also get a uh, skill card at level 11, looks like we get a couple gems, we get another road magic explosion, at level 18 we have uh, Seven's Excel Road, which is a skill to do with Seven's Road Magician, uh, and then, oh, so these characters only go up to level 20, so that's interesting. Um, and we get another Excel Wonder Splat. Obviously we have other characters, so we can get our next character Luke at stage 4. Stage 7 will be the next character, and our final character is at stage 10. So that's obviously something that's good to work towards. Uh, we have obviously this. Uh, looks like we have universal skills that are in our recommends. Uh, and then we have win four Rush Duel Worlds and summon six monsters in one duel. So that's actually really interesting. So they really want you to, to try and summon as many monsters as possible. Uh, we do have a load of free stuff. So let's have a look at everything basically that is on offer for us straight away. So we have a free box. So this first box is free. So we get the Lightning Volcano straight away. And like I said, with Darkness Crested Hawk that they showed, Torno the Wind Weaver, which is limited at 3, Lunius Parrot, uh, Hydro Magician, which is a level 5, it's a spellcaster with 1700 attack points, Harpy Girl, Dark Sorcerer, he's quite good, 3 copies, 1500 attack points, Spell Archer, uh, Flame Manipulator. Now we do have Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, and this box gives us Flame Manipulator, so it's possible at some point we could end up with Flame Swordsman as maybe the first fusion, that would be pretty cool. Trick Pigeon. Uh, Ma Mystic Dealer, a very good card, but it's only a one-off. Um, Fire Golem, I actually have this card in real life, so that's actually really awesome. Um, you can target a face-up monster and your opponent loses 600 defense points by paying 600 life points. Uh, uh, Styrange Cat, uh, Darkness Approaches, which is an old-school Yu-Gi-Oh card, and Giant Tortoise of Greed. It's cool seeing a lot of some of the old cards like Flame Manipulator, for example, and uh, Harpy Girl and many others um, actually be Rush Duel cards. I think that's really cool. Um, so it kind of gives you all those like different variants. So yeah, we're basically going to get a new structure deck for free. Then you can buy another one with 500 gems if you want another one. Um, I'm not going to copy it to a deck yet because obviously we only have the one. Uh, next it said that we get free 10, you know, Free 10 packs right here, so we may as well purchase these while we're at it. So this gives us, um, it's an interesting box choice to give, because some people might have already opened these. I haven't opened too many myself, but I do have 90 left, so maybe this will be 80 by the time I'm done. 
Uh, exceeds energy, Heaven Dragon Cycle, Chaos Form, uh, Light Impulse, Tenue Mapora, Toon Hoppy Lady. So if you're playing tunes, that's pretty cool. Um, Unmasked Dragon, Tusky Knight, Berserk of the Tenue. I mean, these are free at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Vassal of the Dragon Cycle. You might not necessarily be using these cards, but, you know, who cares? They're free cards is free cards at the end of the day. Uh, Dragon Sension. Uh, Fusion Tag. Another of the uh, Tenues. That's a, another one. So I didn't get any Hollows myself um, in my in my box, so, but that's fine, um, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, to get anything crazy, so let's have a look at this one real quick, so this is a selection box, basically you can purchase limit is 5, and you get 12, so this is pretty cool, basically it has a load of, like, it looks like the Will Chalice cards are all in here, so that's pretty cool, I own a lot of the Will Chalices, there's a few cards that I'm missing, so Dragonet, for example, Underclock, you know, um, it looks like we're getting some of the Monarchs as well, some cool Monarch support. Um, so it looks like there's a good amount of cards in there if you have them and if you don't. But we also get an additional 10 cards, uh, 10 packs even, from here. So that's pretty cool. So I like that. And 10 packs also is still the 500 and 50 for one pack. Uh, and it looks like that is a different Karibo, so that's pretty cool. So we got Ancient Tail Protector. I have this card, so that's pretty cool. Flame Manipulator, a card we already had. Dark Magic Attack, so that works well with the Dark Magician that we already got. Sonic Attacker, that seems like an okay level 5. Uh, Thousand Attack Rocket. Uh, select a normal monster on the field with a thousand or less attack, and it gains a thousand, so that's pretty cool. Sports Dragon Pitcher. Oh, it looks like we got something. Seal of the Ancients. Thunder the Thunder. Okay, so that's pretty cool. He's a level 3 with 1300. It's better th than some of the cards that we've got. Uh, what Angel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Another Flame Manipulator. Oh, Phantom Bind. So that's a pretty good trap card, I think, from what I've seen from the videos. It doesn't seem there's too much back row uh, just yet. Oh, the Lamoon, the Party Princess. That's pretty awesome. 1200 level 3. Uh, Luna Bind. Uh, concert Costume Creator. Dabolic King Beetle. Oh, nice! An Ultra Rare! And it's Dragonic Slayer, so that's pretty awesome. So that's that's a really good card there. Dragon Bat. That looks really cool. He's got 1,000 attack. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts! That's awesome! He's a level 4 with 1,500 attack points. Uh, Draco the Tiny with 1,400 defense points. Mystic Dealer. And Pierce as an Ultra Rare. I have this card too. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, Syringe Cat. Forest, nice. Uh, it's good to get some sort of field power bonus cards. Kitar Kid, another Phantom Bind. Um, and that's all the packs that were free in that one. So we got some pretty awesome cards. And there's still a whole load to get in there. I'm not sure if there's any others that are free. I'm not 100% sure. I wonder why this person's got a G. Oh, it's because it's literally in front of their face. Go, her soldier. Alright, I have no idea what that, all that's about. Oh, where's the, uh, hey, my buddy, Trader, do you have anything that's maybe new? Like, do you have anything in here? I'm not 100% sure if they combine Rush Duel cards or Speed Duel cards or anything in here. If the card Trader is going to be used at all, maybe, maybe not yet. But that's pretty awesome that we got some stuff. Okay, so, um, we may as well do a quick deck build, so I'll be right back after I fix this, and then we will have a look at doing our very first duel, so that's gonna be very exciting. Okay, so this is the kind of deck that I decided to run with, so we've got a good couple, uh, cards here. We have different kind of, uh, monsters and stuff, so Darkness Crested Hawk, Lightning Volcondor, we got the Karibot, although he's not gonna be necessarily the best card in my deck, he's a bit of a brick, because we don't have another one, but if we can get rid of it for a tribute, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Max Raider, Dark Magician, Torn of the Wind Waker, we got a good couple level 4s, uh, we also have this King Beetle, who's an insect, so that'd be quite handy with our Forest Field spell, uh, but also uh, Beasts, uh, Plants and Beast Warriors get a boost, so at least our, our Gazelle gets a 200 attack point boost, 
which is quite cool. So we're getting definitely quite a good amount of monsters here. So I definitely think that this is going to be quite a, I would say, decent deck. So let's find out. Um, let's duel somebody. Uh, let's let's go with you. Um, so they're using a deck called Scoop. Uh, let's not use the rewards times three. Let's just go with uh, with times one rewards. And we'll see kind of like how Rush Dueling works because I haven't got a clue. Like, I don't know what's necessarily good for, um, uh, for dueling. I like this yellow background. This is really cool instead of the typical blue. Um, this is one duel that I have to win. So we start I'll with four five. cards. So that's Here pretty we good. Go. Get ready for the rush. Here I go. So it's my turn. Okay. Oh yeah, I no, you draw. do draw. So you still draw on your first turn. So you still have the five cards. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if I want to start big, start small. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start big. Here I so come. we I got water magician. Uh, let's okay. summon Mammoth Graveyard. We've got Dark Sorcerer. And then what we can do is we can tribute the Mammoth Graveyard for Tora the Wind Waker. Um, and we'll end our turn there. So we got a 14, a 15, and a 16 on board. So that's pretty good. Uh, so a 900, a 500, another 500, a face down, two of those, and the end turn. I draw. Okay, so we drew a bunch of monsters. So I'm gonna first play my forest my field hand, spell. I activate uh, field then spell. let's tribute for Axe Raiders. So we're gonna tribute my two monsters here. Good to go. Tribute summon. So Pierce is you choose one face-up monster on the field and it can inflict piercing damage. Since they have 500 defense points, it doesn't really matter at the moment uh, if I do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do okay. is summon the Celtic Guardian, and then I'm going to tribute two monsters for the old faithful okay. companion, the Dark Tribute's Magician. And now battle. we'll battle. Go. My monster attack! Go! Stop it! My monster attack! So we inflicted a lot of damage in that turn, but obviously she's level one, so she's probably just going to summon a bunch of monsters in attack mode and not do set summons yet. So that's a cool horse. Ultimate Flag Beast Surge Bicorn. Say that ten turn. times. Um, okay, so it looks like I got a bunch of monsters. Uh, we can use Blue Medicine to regain life points. Uh, let's summon this parrot. Uh, and then we can... Uh, oh, okay, so that's interesting. I think all these are, are water attribute. What about... That's a light attribute, and that's a light attribute. I do have a light attribute, so I'm gonna summon Volt Condor. The sky, soar to the clouds, lightning Volt Condor. And Volt Condor has an effect that I we can use by Volt discarding Condor's this light effect. attribute. It Volt lowers monsters' stats, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and I still had 17 cards left in my hand. That's one of the things I'm a bit worried about. Since the limit is anywhere between 30 and 40 cards, I have no idea if what's good is to uh, necessarily draw a whole load. I, I have no idea. Like, in terms of, like, what what's good deck ratio? Like, I, I, I don't really know just yet. But that should, in theory, get us to the next stage. Uh... Possibly because we won a game, but also I think it's maybe one or two games. Are you gonna win four games? Um, so that was that and then we get red gate keys, but we also have to win three more duels But that's gonna be the end of this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, I'm gonna get this out as soon as possible and then uh, we'll do a load of videos just to keep covering and just keep going uh, with all this content. You'll see it every day. New content every single day. So that's going to be very exciting. And I hope you guys are excited about Rush Duels. I know I am. Uh, you know, and it's going to be good to kind of just explore what this game is all about. And I'm very excited to do that. For, in the meantime, like I said, I showed Feral Imp in the last, and I do have Rush Duel cards. So here is this awesome level 7 secret rare that I do have, which is pretty wicked. So, anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content like this one. And as always, party on, peeps. Take care, guys, and we will see you again in the next video.